Smith with IDA TV. Today I am here with Krista at the 7th Annual National Association of Asian American Professionals Gala and she is one of the MCs of the night. Hey Krista, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Francis. Thank you. How are you? Did you enjoy the evening? I did. It was awesome. Thanks to your wonderful MCing. So what brought you here and what's kind of like your background? Well, uh, my mother is from the Philippines and I grew up in California. I was offered a TV network contract in the Philippines when I was 16. Moved out there, did a few TV shows that I hosted, acted in, sang it down to a variety show. Took a break from TV, won Miss Philippines, um, luckily, and um, got into music. So I moved back here a year and a half ago and Arnell Dino is so kind to invite me to come host. So it's been wonderful meeting such amazing, talented, and accomplished people, such as yourself. Oh my gosh, so you've done so many things in a very short period of time. Oh, so, thank you. So what was it like? I'm sure it was a very different track than some of your other peers have done, a very just unconventional, I guess, career path. So how has that been for you? You know, it's very exciting. It's definitely a, not as secure as the other career paths, you know, but I love the excitement, I love the challenge, and I love exploring different types of arts, and the, the career path that I've chosen has been so great to allow me to do that sort of thing. So have you always wanted to be in this entertainment type industry, or had you kind of thought you were going to do something else when you were growing up? Um, as a kid, I think I always had a little fantasy. I'd watch Shirley Temple and be like, ah, oh, she's so cute, I want to do that. But, you know, my, my father's a professor, my mother is a teacher, and so I really thought that I had to go down the school path. I didn't take the art seriously, I just thought it was for fun. Um, I was at UC San Diego studying to... Uh, no, I really? Oh, that's yeah. awesome! Okay. Oh, cool, Sorry. small world! So I went to UC San Diego to uh, study psychology, actually, and I just decided that I wanted to try entertainment, take up yeah. the offer. A few weeks of vacation ended up being six years, and the rest kind of just happened oh on its own. Oh my goodness! Oh plans. <laughs> oh my gosh! So UC San Diego, totally known for like doctors and right? just not the entertainment industry. So that's really interesting. What were you studying at UC San Diego? Communications, and then I minored in sociology. So kind of a similar path, but this is not about me. So. Okay, so what actually pushed you to do something so outside of the box? It's very hard to go to a school like UC San Diego and then go into the field of entertainment. Yeah. I mean, it must have been very challenging, very uncomfortable. Yeah, you know, it, it definitely had its challenges. I mean, as an 18-year-old, first of all, to uproot and move to a different country in Asia was definitely a, a challenge in itself. And then to enter the entertainment industry and be away from my family at the same time. But, you know, I grew a lot as a person. I learned a lot about myself. I realized there was a lot I didn't know. And being in a different country helped really open my eyes. And then being forced out of my comfort zone so far helped me mature and gain independence. And so I, I owe a lot to that experience. Oh my goodness. So you've done so much stuff. So a lot of our viewers really are interested in taking the unconventional path, the path, I guess, less traveled. So what kind of advice could you give them, maybe people who are in a career and they want to totally do a 180 and try a different career, something unconventional? I would say the first thing is to really understand what you want, right? I think a lot of us kind of go along with what we're told we should do and it's easy to convince ourselves that that's what we want. But taking the time to really self-reflect and figure out what your heart really desires is the first step. And then I think it's mapping out um, a road map, right? And so some things can seem so far out of reach, right? But if we're able to break it down into small steps, then it's easier to digest and you can slowly take those steps. And then, of course, the big thing is really just to have the courage to do it, right? Like, just go for it. Do it. Take those small steps. Let it build. And don't let your life pass you by without at least giving your dreams a shot. So a very entrepreneurial business plan type way to approach it. Awesome! Yeah, yeah. Dream first and then break the dream down so that you can do it. Yeah. And so if our viewers want to learn more about you or see you on TV, where can they go? How can they find you? Well, my social media, Twitter and Instagram is Krista, K-R-I-S-T-A underscore K-L-E-I-N-E-R. Awesome, and then do you have anything else you want to tell our viewers? Anything inspiring that can kind of help them break out of their shell and do what you did? Believe in yourself, I believe in you.